Hello, I'm Tim Krull. Welcome to Norwich City Central. Well, as football games go, that went pretty, pretty well for Norwich. Norwich City 6, Bournemouth 0. And after a really disappointing start to the season, a disappointing performance against Man City and a lot of national media um, kind of criticising Norwich, that felt good, didn't it? Norwich 6, Bournemouth 0. Uh, Christoph Zulis, 2 goals. Josh Sargent, 2 goals. Lucas Rupp with a goal. Um, you know, it was just a magical performance. Kenny McLean with a goal. Zulis, a masterclass debut. Kenny McLean, one of the contenders for man the match, and he's got to be a contender to start. Josh Sargent, a contender to start. That is exactly the type of performance you want from players. You know, being competitive, uh, putting everything on the line. Brandon Williams was excellent as well on his Norwich City debut. That Norwich City performance was perfect. And, you know, it gives Daniel Farkas some real headaches. In this match review, we'll be going through all the key action and I'd love to hear your thoughts down below. But yes, Josh Sargent, Christoph Zulis, Kenny McLean, they've all been knocking on the door for a start in the Premier League. And after the performance I've seen there, um, they're, they're, they're knocking on that door very hard, particularly Zulis, who on his debut, incredible. £10 million, of course, a lot of expectation on his shoulders, 19 years old, but... You know, to be 19 years old and have a 10 million price tag, that shows kind of what people think about you and how, how well regarded you are. And yeah, brilliant debut. And this is a Bournemouth team who, you know, made quite a lot of changes, but still are a very competitive Bournemouth team. And um, yeah, just over the moon. I'd love to hear your thoughts down below in the comment section. But yeah, for me, Bournemouth with that performance and making so many changes, just like Norwich did, but particularly that performance from Bournemouth, really lacks sporting integrity for me. The way Bournemouth, you know, didn't even try and, and they kind of cheated the system. So for me, that Bournemouth performance lacks sporting integrity and uh, that Norwich performance was pretty special. But let's go through the action. Interesting team lineup. And as I said, Daniel Farker picked a lot of players who were kind of knocking on the door. We had Angus Gunn in goal, back four, Brandon Williams, Christoph Zimmerman, Andrew Umabamadeli and Bally members. There's two uh, really young Norwich City players in there and that, and that back four were hardly tested. They were excellent. Very interesting, in my opinion. Daniel Farker went for that 4-3-3 and for me, I thought that 4-3-3 was a precaution coming up against Man City and Liverpool have an extra body in there. But maybe Daniel Farker is going to continue playing that 4-3-3 throughout the whole of the season rather than the 4-2-3-1. The midfield three consisted of Jakob Sorensen, Kenny McLean and Lucas Rupp. And the front three of Christoph Zulis on his Norwich City debut. Josh Sargent up front. And Kieran Dow kind of playing as a right winger in that inverted area. So really interesting lineup from Daniel Farker. Um, but yeah, the players did not disappoint. It was an absolutely incredible performance from Norwich. In the Carabao Cup second round, you know, normally you play teams who are probably a bit below Bournemouth. But this Norwich City performance was so competitive, so well you know, so much determination, so much kind of passion, getting in between the lines, progressive with the ball is brilliant. And uh, Norwich City took the lead in the 10th minute through a brilliant goal. And of Christoph Zulis with his debut goal, Kenny McLean, who, yeah, was, was so close to man the match if he doesn't get man the match. A beautiful ball over the top to Christoph Zulis. He's one-on-one -on -one, and it's a nice finish for him. It takes a bit of a deflection, but goes into the, uh, goes past an island, of course, of Norwich City last season. Lovely finish from him. And Norwich made it 2-0 in the 26th minute and it was a really nice play again. Coming down that left, switching the play. Kieran Dow then gets into a pocket 25 yards out, plays it to Kenny McLean and a lovely finish from Kenny McLean um, outside the box um, and he strikes it so well. It was probably the pick of the goal and a lovely strike. And Kenny McLean, someone who's coming leaping bounds in a Norwich City shirt, was absolutely excellent for Norwich in that championship season, that 97-point championship season where um, I think we showed so much sporting integrity put it that way i'm not going to let that talk sport down i really should but no kenny mcclain underrated last season and yeah he's going to be knocking on the door um you know as it stands without a central defensive bit midfielder billy gilmore's going to play in that position and uh you know for that box-to-box -box midfielder kenny mcclain really putting his name down fantastic goal from him and a fantastic performance and uh he was critical in the third goal as well bournemouth playing out from the back and Look, Bournemouth made a lot of changes and they just weren't at it. It's as simple as that. Lots of changes sometimes that can cause disruption. And you look, you think it, it would cause disruption to Norwich, but it didn't. Zulis and Josh Sargent look like they've been playing with each other for years. And uh, playing out from the back, Kenny McLean nips it in 35 yards out. It comes to Christoph Zulis. And yeah, on the counter-attack, he's just 
it's like a switch, you know, we get the ball and he's just running down the wing, causing absolute havoc, gets in 25 yards out, plays it to Lucas Rupp and a great finish from Lucas Rupp. And he's going to have some criticism on his plate when he plays in the Premier League, I feel. Um, obviously, he probably hasn't shown that Premier League quality and I don't think he will. And Norris City have said to Mo Leitner, Tom Tribal, Marcus Stuperman, Mario Rangic, love of mine, and Alex Tetty, you're now not good enough for the Premier League. And I put Lucas Rupp probably in that same category, but it's really nice to see him performing. And, you know, I think he's, he did well in the championship and it was a good strike from him. And Norwich were freeing it up, going into half time. the game was done and you just want to see Norwich City kind of get that clean sheet and maybe even add some more goals, you know, as well. And that's exactly what they did. Norwich were absolutely ruthless um, and it was just beautiful to see. And we made it 4-0 in the 50th minute. Bournemouth playing out from the back yet again and failing. Comes to Kieran Dow, 35 yards out, driving into the space. Kenny, uh, Kieran Dow had a really underrated game. Plays it to Kenny McLean, who arrives late in the box. And Nyland produces an ex exceptional save. But on the rebound, as all good strikers are, Josh Sargent is alive and makes it 4-0. Uh, the fifth goal then came and Nyland makes a huge mistake for this one. Trying to play out from the back, Bournemouth just not at it. Um, Josh Sargent intercepts it. Pulls it across the 18-yard box. And who is there? That £10 million man, Zulis, with a lovely finish to make it 5-0 in front of the Barkley. And Norwich then made it 6-0. Six, six um, and this time on the score sheet was Josh Sargent getting his second goal of the game. Christoph Zulis intercepting the Bournemouth defender, running through one-on-one -on, -one on goal. And Zulis and Josh Sargent had an amazing partnership in this game, creating a couple of goals and just looking lively throughout. And uh, puts it on a plate for Josh Sargent, who sticks it in the back of the net. Bournemouth didn't really have any opportunities. Their closest they came was in the 90th minute with a with a header. Um, but yeah, perfect performance from Norwich. Norwich getting the clean sheet. Um, players now really knocking on the door. And yeah, just so, so impressive. And looks like Daniel Fark is going to continue playing that 4-3-3. But Kenny McLean has put in an exceptional performance where he he was a box-to-box -box midfielder showing aggression. Look, for the first goal, he, 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 he plays that lovely ball over the top. Third goal intercepts the play. Fourth goal almost scores again. Second goal with a wonderful finish. He was just brilliant throughout. And he's got to be starting, in my opinion, against Leicester. Christoph Zulis, got to be starting against Leicester. Two goals, two assists. What a perfect debut it was from him. His pace is electrifying. A really good end product and really good vision as well for it. A couple of assists, you know, really, really good vision where he could take it on. See someone in a better position from him. And Josh Sargent as well. Timo Pukki looks tired. Mentally and physically, Josh Sargent had a pre-season and looks fit, he looks lively, he looks hungry. And for me, he's got to be starting. Sargent, Zulis, um, Kenny McLean have all got to be starting. There's a case of Brandon Williams as well. But look, it was a brilliant performance from Norwich. Um, a really poor start for them in terms of, of the results. Although you'd expect it against Liverpool and Man City. But coming up against Bournemouth, a really good championship team. 6-0 is absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. Um, one of the best performances I've seen for Norwich in a long time, probably since the Huddersfield 7-0 win. Magical for Norwich. I'd love to hear your thoughts down below. Yes, it's only the second round of the Carabao Cup, but brilliant confidence. Exactly what Norwich City needed facing at Leicester on Saturday. I'm over the moon. I'm sure you're over the moon as well. Maybe if you're not from, maybe not from a Bournemouth perspective, um, safe travels back to all Bournemouth fans after that horrid display for you. But thank you for watching. Um, and yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts now going into the Leicester game. I'll see you later.